remember the last time I did that, that I had to run back to my room because I forgot like the most important item I have on my person, this. Okay, so today we are going to Petra uh, during the day. Yesterday we went and saw it at night. Petra is included in this. I don't know how much it is normally, but it is included in the Top Deck Tour. So yeah, let's go and see Petra and all the other wonderful things that surround it. Okay, so I just found out the price of the ticket. Ooh, that's, that's nice. So conversion, that's about 50 pounds. How crazy is this? It's just amazing to see it during the day. Also, fun fact, Petra was occupied till 1985 by a tribe and they have no idea where that tribe is from. So they gave the tribe a village when UNESCO kind of kicked them out and um, yeah, they can all work here now. locations while they worship the three gods. Can you see? For the person who wants to worship the main god, he must stand in Jordan's side and for, uh, for his wife is here, for his, uh, his son or his daughter is in the other side while they are holding each other. Sometimes they are saying marriage. This is the marriage contract, but we, we are not sure about that. His money somewhere in this area. And unfortunately, they thought it is available in that urn, which is in the truck and all the way in the middle. Can you see that? Even you can see the shop. Where they bought the gun machine and stuff. They thought that urn would drop down and the treasures would fall down. That's why it's become famous by the name of treasure. So you're not allowed to go inside, but um, it's pretty cool to see from the outside one of the seven modern wonders of the world. And there are a lot of people. Not as many as I thought there'd be though. But yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> like others, we usually we knew that it is royal, rich people and poor people. Here we have another category, it's called soldiers. doesn't even know. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it's so funny I wish I was recording that of all trying to get into these holes in the cave for a photo hoping the photo came out right but Luke took it so it's a bit, he's not even here to appreciate the joke Luke when I'm insulting you on camera be here <laughs> yes what was I doing wrong I said that it would have been a really epic shot but you took it so no we don't really know how it's going to come That's out that's probably shit I'm sorry <laughs> well you took two and you're like okay I was like we're done well no one wouldn't do anything <laughs> So now we're gonna climb 600 steps to see the treasury from above, the really famous photo you always see online. Okay, so we all walked up the 600 steps and then we kind of came to like a dead end with all this mountain area. We just kind of had to go for it and hope that it was the right way. So we're gonna see the treasury from above. And I think it is because we saw two people walk past us. Oh, it's gonna be so worth it. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. I'm telling myself, it's gonna be worth it. Definitely worth it, I think. <laughs> I'm certainly not hiking up to the monastery. No. <laughs> Julie is a master shopper. <laughs> One last look. Today has been amazing. I must look like a wreck. How do you think it stands up against all your other travels today? Pretty high. Yeah. Not at the top. Not at the top. Taj, top for you. Yeah. yeah. This woman has seen all seven modern wonders of the world. 
and she's wore white in every single picture she's ever had at them. It's pretty amazing. So we're heading actually back to the hotel now because we are exhausted. I need to get some work done um, and I'll talk to you a little bit more there about this. Here we are ending another video in a towel but this time it's the next morning. Um, last night we went to a Turkish bath which I couldn't fit on because it's all steamy and then um, <clears throat> had some dinner and a beer and then came to bed. We don't have to leave till 11 a.m. today to go to um, Wadi Run. Wadi Run. It's in, we're sleeping in the desert overnight. Yesterday was amazing. Um, Petra has been on the top of my bucket list for so long. Actually so much of what I've done on this trip has been on my bucket list. And now I just get to like wipe it off and add more things. Um, so good to experience them all. Let me know actually, because I was talking to the group and like 50-50 split. Some people had Petra on their bucket list, some didn't, and some didn't even hear, they never even heard of it. So um, let me know in the comments, um, is Petra on your bucket list? And um, if not, why not? <laughs> and is it now? Um, but yeah, Jesus, I think, honest to God, I think when Top Deck gave me this trip, it was their biggest bucket list trip because I have all of the Ultima 49 campaign. I'll, the link down below, you can see all the other big bucket list trips that other influencers have been on. Um, I'm sorry guys, but I, I think I, I think this one is the biggest because I just can't go over what I have experienced. Anyway, the trip is almost at the end now. One more night camping in the desert and then back to Budapest for 36 hours before we go to a golden destination. So. Okay, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, all of Saga Traveler links down there. Don't forget to subscribe because sleepy eyes tell you to do so. And um, yeah, I'll see you in a few days.